All right, welcome to your first C# -sharp tutorial. And um, this tutorial series is going to be sort of uh, targeted towards people who are absolute beginners. Okay, so if you have you know no idea what you're doing with programming, you've never worked with any kind of programming language before, then uh, you know this is what you want to watch because I'm going to cover everything that you're going to need, you know, all the tools that you need to start writing your code, and I'm going to go through all the basics from start to finish, so you're not going to miss on anything at all. Um, and even if you're, you know, you're coming from another programming language, um, maybe, you know, you've worked with Java or C++ or something, uh, you might want to maybe skip a few parts, um, because right now I'm just going from, you know, the absolute start. Uh, and then from there on out, I'm going to go, you know, through the syntax and all, all of that stuff. Uh, but for right now, what we need is something to write our code in. So in this case, we're going to use Visual Studio. Okay, it's provided by Microsoft. So um, and it's actually free of charge. Okay, there are paid versions, but you don't actually have to pay anything to sort of get started in uh, programming at all. Um, and you know, you can make you know really good looking and professional stuff and uh, you can actually sell that if you want uh, and you don't actually have to pay a penny all right so in order to get uh, visual studio go to your internet browser um, type in download visual studio 2012 express um, 2012 is the latest version uh, at the time of making this video um, maybe by the time you guys t uh, are looking at this tutorial you know 2013 or 2014 is out uh, just get the latest one it really doesn't matter uh, the most important part is to get the express version okay this is the uh, the free version uh, so you don't have to pay any money uh, press enter and uh, from the Microsoft products page uh, you know, Visual, uh, Visual Studio Express 2012 click that uh, I'll put this link in the uh, description as well um, so you want to scroll down um, and from here get the Visual Studio for Windows desktop okay don't get the one for the web or Windows 8 I'm going to be using the uh, Windows desktop version uh, click download and over here it says install now so click that and uh, it will download a small online installer um, the actual size for Visual Studio uh, I believe is over a gig or maybe even around 2 gigs, I'm not exactly sure, but it is pretty big and it, depending on your hard drive and internet speed it can take you know maybe from 10 to like 20-25 minutes so uh, just give it some time and um, like if I run it, uh, I, I already have it installed but it should look something similar to this, um, just go ahead and click next next next, it's very, uh, very straightforward. Uh, but uh, because I already have it installed, it's telling me to you know, repair or install. So I'm going to cancel that. And um, so once you guys have that installed, go ahead to your start menu, go to all programs, and uh, in the Microsoft Visual Studio 2012 Express folder, go to VS Express for desktop. Okay, Visual VS means Visual Studio. So start that up and. Um, for you guys, it's going to look a little bit different. Um, I'll go through that in the next video. But basically, uh, right now, again, uh, we're going to cover downloading uh, and installing Visual Studio. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, from here on out, I'm actually going to try and put all of my code and project files on my website. So if you're you know, not feeling like typing all that stuff yourself, you can just download the project and uh, uh, test that stuff out uh, you know, real quick. Uh, so anyway, if um, you guys want to subscribe, go ahead. I'm going to be releasing quite a few of these and uh, hopefully cover some other programming language here as well. So anyway, uh, I'll see you guys in the uh, next tutorial.